So, you're saying I can make my own window cleaner? Hey guys, and welcome to the very first monthly EO DIY. That's essential oil do-it-yourself. Now, I know that there are lots of recipes that you can look up online and it'll give you instructions on how to make different things, but I have found that a lot of people, myself included, like to be shown how to do something. So that's what we're going to do today. Today we're going to be making a window and counter cleaner and a lemon toilet bomb, which I've never made before, so we'll see how that goes. All right, so let's start with this lemon spray. This is going to be such a versatile and useful cleaner for you to have around your home. It's super inexpensive, and the only ingredients you'll need are a glass spray bottle, one half a cup of distilled water, a half a cup of white vinegar, and eight drops of lemon, or another citrus oil of your choice. Now there are several different places you can get your glass bottles from. This particular one I'm using today comes from a site called aromatools.com uh, and their website will be in the details listed below. And I really like their bottles because they're heavy duty and I can choose from a, a wide array of sizes when I'm working on a new recipe. So let's get started. Now the first thing I'm going to do is add my white vinegar. Now I'm going to use a funnel today and you don't have to use a funnel, but I always make a really big mess and I thought for the sake of this video, I will use a funnel so that none of you can make fun of me for the massive mess I would make all of this count. So, add my half a cup of white vinegar into the bottle, like so. Then I'm going to take my half a cup of distilled water. I love these pictures. I'm still making a mess, it doesn't matter. <laughs> if I'm the funnel or not I'm the funnel, I'm just gonna make a mess, it doesn't really matter. So you too can make a mess at home, but you're gonna have a really great cleaner. And then you're gonna add your eight drops of essential oil. I can't talk and count at the same time. If you can, bravo. You're literally going to just scroll on the counter, shake it up, and you have your counter cleaner. It really is just as simple as that. And that's really all there is to it. Just shake it every time before you use it. And I wish that you guys could smell it because it smells so clean and fresh and not chemically, if, I, if that's even a word. But you might be saying, now Lindsay, I don't have a glass bottle. And even if I order one, I'm not going to get one for like a while. Well, you're in luck because there are ways that you can use lemon oil to clean your glass and counters without a glass bottle. Let me show you. Just dropping some drops of lemon oil onto your counter and then taking a warm, damp rag and wiping down the surface is all that you need. You can also do the same thing with your windows. Tip the oil bottle onto your rag and wipe those windows down. Remember, lemon oil has such amazing cleansing properties in it that makes it not only good for our counters, but good for our bodies. Now, on to the experiment, the lemon toilet bomb. For this, you're going to need a large glass pitcher, one cup of baking soda, one cup of vinegar, and five to six drops of lemon oil. Now, from what I've read, this might be a really fun experiment to do if you have kids or if you're just a big kid at heart like me. So, you're going to want to add the ingredients in this order. The vinegar first. Do your one cup of vinegar into your large bowl or pitcher the lemon oil, five to six drops. Five to six for good measure. And finally, the baking soda. Now this is where I'm getting kind of nervous because this, I really have never done this before, so welcome. You're going to live this out with me. All right, so are we ready? One cup of baking soda added to the mixture. Somehow showing you the inside of a toilet felt a little weird. So, needless to say, all I did was dump all that foamy magic goodness down into my toilet. I'm gonna let it sit for a little while, and then eventually I'll flush it down. It'll clean out that inner ring of my toilet. It'll also clean out those pipes all naturally. And it smells, smells really, really good. 
Remember, there are tons of recipes that you can use to clean your kitchen, your bathroom, really anywhere. These were just a tip of the iceberg when it comes to cleaning your home on a budget and all naturally. Hey guys, thanks so much for mixing it up with me on today's EODIY. For a written format of the recipes we talked about today, be sure to check out the details below. If you're looking for more essential oils tips and recipes, be sure to follow me on Instagram at oilsmustgoon. And while you're here, don't forget to subscribe. And hey, if you're looking for a team or a way to get oils into your home, I'd love to connect with you. See you guys later. <laughs>